بذكر الله ترتاح القلوب وتنزاح المتاعب والكروب Throughout history there are many people who have uh, sacrificed for the deen and in different ways uh, and today what I want to mention to you is the unique sacrifice of one of the great uh, women of Islam uh, her name is actually more uh, known by her her kunya which is the the mother of she's known as mother of Sulaim Umm Sulaim who she's also the mother of Anas ibn Malik uh, and because she was so known as Umm Sulaim uh, her her actual name isn't quite agreed upon some say it's Ramla some say it's Sahla some say it's al Rumaysa, al Rumaysa, different different names. But anyway, this Umm Sulaim, uh, a great woman in, in many ways, as we will see, inshallah. And, and I'm going to record a couple of videos on this in this regards. Uh, so make sure you do uh, watch the others. She was married to a man called uh, um, uh, Malik ibn Nadar. Uh, Malik ibn Nadar, uh, uh, when Islam rose uh, and, and Islam reached um, Yathrib, as, as it was known at that time, before it became Medina, Umm Sulaim, she became a Muslim. And that might be also related to the fact that obviously, mashallah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided her to Islam, but she was also related to the Prophet sallallahu from his mother's side. Uh, and, and his, you know, from, from the, the, say, the maternal side. So uh, she became a Muslim. Uh, however, her husband Malik was not happy that she became Muslim, uh, and he uh, was, you know, was upset about this, and he was even trying to, you know, in some ways threatening her. Her son Anas, uh, who was young at that time, she would, you know, teach him or try to instill within him the Tawheed, belief in one God, and he was saying, "Stop corrupting my son." Uh, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave her another son from this guy called Malik. His name is Al-Bara, Al-Bara Malik, uh, the, 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 the full brother of Anas. Also a righteous guy, inshallah. We'll get to talk about him in, in, in the future. So Anas, um, Umm Sulaim, uh, was married to Malik. Malik went once on a trip. And during this trip, this expedition, he, he was killed. Uh, and so it was like a gift from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because this man was a stubborn uh, he, he was not only stubborn, but he was quite, uh, you know, quite a, a harsh person. Um, so she, she, he died. And the nature of the society that day, subhanAllah, which is such great practice, is that women and men weren't just, you know, they didn't just spend their lives, uh, you know, bachelors, unmarried, widowed. Well, somebody, the husband died or she had divorced, she was to go carry on, get married, move on. And so a man came to... Uh, almost sitting by the name of Abu uh, Talha uh, and he proposed to marry her now this is before he became a Muslim so it was the tradition back then that obviously any person who marries would give a gift to the uh, the, the potential bride uh, a mahar which uh, continued as, a, as, a, as a, 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 a practice in Islam so she said look I don't want any mahar don't want any money Nothing, no cash, no jewelry, no gold, no special clothes. I don't want this massive uh, wedding with a big reception and a big cake and a big, all these things. I just want the mahar that you become a Muslim. You become a Muslim, that's my mahar. And that's the kind of sacrifice he gets. SubhanAllah, it's such a, such a great sacrifice. And in doing that, he obviously had thought about the matter, uh, you know, a person wants to become Muslim as well for the right reasons uh, and he thought about that and uh, Alhamdulillah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guided him uh, made that a, a reason for him to accept Islam uh, and he accepted Islam he announced Islam with the Prophet وسلم, and she married him and that was really a beginning of a great blessing in this household which inshallah we will learn about in the future but you can see the sacrifice of this woman mashallah to sacrifice a lot of women today are very obsessed with having you know uh, massive weddings and, and and not just wedding big mahar sometimes they even compete with each other about the mahar that they have and, and how much should be paid and so on her mahar was that i want you to become a muslim and what a great sacrifice what a great blessing that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places in such women who are ready to give up on their personal desires 
for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah have mercy on her, may Allah accept her and be pleased with her. A great woman, inshallah, as we learn in terms of her sacrifices, uh, Umm Sulaim uh, bint Milhan radiyallahu anha.